In this lecture, I will be discussing the relationship between risk, assets, threats, and vulnerabilities. Risk is the probability or likelihood of the occurrence or realization of a threat. An asset is any item of economic value owned by an individual or corporation. A threat sets the stage for risk and is any agent, condition, or circumstance that could potentially cause harm, loss, damage, or compromise an IT or data asset. A vulnerability is a weakness in the system design, implementation, software, or code, or lack of mechanism. Three basic elements of risk are assets, threats, and vulnerabilities. To deal with risk, the U.S. federal government has adopted a risk management framework, RMF. The RMF process is based on the key concepts of mission and risk-based, cost-effective, and enterprise information system security. NIST, National Institute of Standards and Technology, Special Publication 800-37, Guide for Applying the Risk Management Framework to Federal Information Systems, transforms the traditional certification and accreditation, CNA, process into the six-step risk management framework. Physical assets include, but are not limited to, routers, servers, hard drives, and laptops. Virtual assets include, but are not limited to, formulas, databases, spreadsheets, trade secrets, and processing time. Note, no organization can ever be 100% secure. There will always be some risk left over. This is known as residual risk. The amount of risk left after safeguards and controls have been put in place to protect the asset. From a security professional's perspective, threats can be categorized as events that can affect the confidentiality, integrity, or availability of the organization's assets. Natural disasters, weather, and catastrophic damage. Hurricanes such as Matthew, which hit Florida in the U.S. East Coast in 2016, storms, weather outages, fires, floods, earthquakes, and other natural events can pose an ongoing threat. Hacker attacks. An insider or outsider who is unauthorized and purposely attacks an organization's components, systems, or data. Cyber attack. Attackers who target critical national infrastructure such as water plants, electric plants, gas plants, oil refineries, gasoline refineries, nuclear power plants, waste management plants, and so on. Stuxnet is an example of a tool designed for such a purpose. Viruses and malware, an entire category of software tools that are malicious and are designed to damage or destroy a system or data. CryptoWall and Celity are two examples of malware. Another threat is disclosure of confidential information. Anytime a disclosure of confidential information occurs, it can be a critical threat to an organization if that disclosure causes loss of revenue, causes potential liabilities, or provides a competitive advantage to an adversary. Denial of service or distributed denial of service, an attack against the availability that is designed to bring the network or access to a particular TCP IP host server to its knees by flooding it with useless traffic. Most DDoS attacks are carried out by botnets, whereas in the past, hackers use other methods such as ping of death or teardrop attacks. Note, if an organization is vulnerable to any of these threats, then there is an increased risk of a successful attack. Vulnerabilities range from weakness in system design to implementation of operational procedure. Applications. Software and applications come with tons of functionality. Applications may be configured for usability rather than for security. Applications may be in need of a patch or update that may or may not be available. Attackers targeting applications have a target-rich environment to examine. Just think of all the applications running on your home or work computers. Operating systems. Loaded onto workstations, servers, personal computers, and mobile devices, 
Attacks can search for vulnerabilities in operating systems that have not been patched or updated. An example is MS15-078. There's a vulnerability in Microsoft Font Driver that could allow remote code execution. Misconfiguration. The configuration file in configuration setup for a device or software may be misconfigured or may be deployed in an unsecure state. This might be open ports, vulnerable services, or misconfigured network devices. Just consider wireless networking. Can you detect any wireless devices in your neighborhood without encryption? Shrink wrap software. The application or executable file that is run on a workstation or server. When installed on a device, it can have tons of functionality or sample scripts or code available. 